Hey, welcome to this Corporate Mars video on bearings. In this video, we're going to look at a certain type of bearings question, and there are questions on back bearings. So in other words, if you know the bearing of A from B, how to find the bearing of B from A. So here's a typical question. The bearing of Nottingham from Dublin is 98 degrees, 0, 098 degrees. What is the bearing of Dublin from Nottingham? So just before we do that, it's important to know a couple of things to make sure you can do it. So first of all, you need to know about bearings. In other words, bearings are the direction you're traveling on measured clockwise from north. And if you watch video 26 on corporatemavs.com, you will get a sort of a good outline of what bearings are. Also, there's two other bits of knowledge that you're going to need to know to be able to work out back bearings or to calculate back bearings, and they are co-interior angles. So if you've got two parallel lines, perhaps the two north lines, that the angles within those add up to 180 degrees. So this blue angle and this orange angle would add up to 180 degrees. And it's also important to know that if you've got angles that meet at a point, they add up to 360 degrees. Okay, so let's go back to our question. So here we've got our question. The question says the bearing of Nottingham from Dublin is 98 degrees. So here we've got Dublin, we've got the north line, and the bearing of Nottingham from Dublin is 98 degrees. In other words, the angle here from the north line round to the, the line joining them is 98 degrees. And the question says, what is the bearing of Dublin from Nottingham? So we want the bearing of Dublin from Nottingham. So we want to work out this angle from clockwise from north all the way around to the line. We want to work out this angle here. Okay, so to do that, what we're going to do is first of all, work out this angle here, the one inside of the, the north lines. So as you'll notice, the two north lines are parallel. So to work out this angle, they're co-interior angles. So this angle and this angle will add to 180 degrees. So if we do 180 minus our 98, we'll find the size of this angle here. So zero take away eight, well, let's borrow. So that's going to become seven and 10. 10 take away eight is two. Um, seven take away one, well, let's make that seven. Oh, sorry, seven take away nine, can't do it, so borrow. So 17 take away nine is equal to eight. So it's going to be 82 degrees. So this angle here is 82 degrees, that's here. Okay, but obviously the, to get the bearing of uh, Dublin from Nottingham, we need to know the clockwise angle we're sort of going around from north. So we're looking for this angle here. So these two angles, the 82 and the one we want to find, meet at a point. So these two angles add up to 360 degrees. So if we do 360 degrees minus 82, we're going to find the size of our missing angle. In other words, the bearing that we want to find. So that's going to give us 8 and then 7 278. So this angle is 278 degrees. So that means that the back bearing, the, the bearing that brings us back for, uh, sort of to Dublin from Nottingham will be 278 degrees. Okay, so our next question says, the bearing of Q from P is 50 degrees. What is the bearing of P from Q? Now, there is a shortcut to do these questions and I will show you at the very end of this video that shortcut. Um, the reason I'm not showing it now is I sort of would rather show you how to do, sort of using the method and why the answer is the case rather than just going to the shortcut. Um, but so to do it without using the shortcut, first of all, it says the bearing of Q from P. So let's put down P to begin with because it says from P. And it says 50 degrees. Well, obviously we've got our north line. So let's put our north line in, which is straight up here. So let's mark in N for north. And 50 degrees, well, that means if that's zero, 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 we're going to be going around 50 degrees. So over here somewhere, maybe there. And we're going to be going in that direction to get to Q because there's the bearing of Q from P. So if we just draw a line there, so over here somewhere, then Q will be over here, okay? Because it's on a bearing of 50 degrees. Um, obviously, if this angle was bigger, perhaps maybe 100 degrees, it would be down there somewhere because obviously 100 degrees. Um, you know, if it was 200 degrees, you would go right the way around to where 200 degrees would be and draw the line down there. Again, watch the video on bearings if you need to recap, okay? But Q's up here somewhere because it's bearing off Q from P is 50 degrees. Okay, now let's draw our, 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 the other north line in. So our north line at Q would be here. And now we want to find the bearing of P from Q. So if you're at Q and you want to get to P, the bearing would be measured clockwise from north. So we're looking for this angle here. Okay. And to find that, what we're going to do is use the co-interior angles again. So let's find this angle first of all. So these two angles will add up to 180 degrees. So 180 minus 50 is equal to 130 degrees. So this angle here is 130 degrees. And the angles in a full circle add up to 360. So if we do 360 minus 130, we will get the answer, this angle here, this bearing, and that will be 230 degrees. So this angle here is 230 degrees. So the 
bearing is 230. Okay, so our next question uh, that we're gonna look at says, the bearing of A from B is 215 degrees, and what is the bearing of B from A? So first of all, it says from B, so let's draw our B, so let's label it like so. And we're gonna put our north line there, so let's put our north line, and again label it, N. And it says uh, the bearing of A from B is 215 degrees. So 215 degrees, well it's gonna be 90 to over here, 180 to here, so 215 would be down there somewhere. Um, so let's put our line and let's label it as A. And it says the bearing is 215 degrees, so that's gonna be clockwise around. So we're gonna put on our north line at A, so here. And we wanna find the bearing of B from A. So if we're at A and we wanna find the bearing of B from A, we're gonna to wanna to find out this angle here and then that would be our bearing. Um, so to find this angle here, let's find, first of all find out the angle here, and to do that, the 215 and this missing angle will add up to 360. So 360 minus 215, well that's gonna give us five, four, 145 degrees. So this is 145 degrees. And then these two angles are co-interior angles, so, we'll, so they'll add up to 180 degrees. So if this is 145, this one's going to be 35 because that would have made 180. Now be careful, this angle is less than 100. So whenever we're asked, I've been asked to write it as a bearing, the answer will be 0, 3, 5 degrees. And that's it. Okay, I promise you I'll show you the shortcut. Well, let's have a look and see what the shortcut is. So if we have a look at this question here, oh, actually, let's go back to our first question. Um, our first question, we had the bearing in the question that we were given was 98 degrees. And it says, what's the bearing the other way? Well, that was 278. That is 180 more. We've added on 180 degrees to find the back bearing. Okay, our next question, well we started off with 50 degrees and if we add on 180 degrees, we'll get the angle uh, going backwards, 230. And this time, whenever we've been given a reflex angle, an angle bigger than 180 degrees, or uh, bigger than 180 degrees, to find the back bearing, you're not gonna add on 180. In fact, you're gonna minus 180 degrees. And it's just a bit of a shortcut that will always work. So if you're given a bearing of A, to, uh, of a from B as an angle that's less than 180, if you add on 180, you'll find the back bearing. And likewise, if you're given an angle that is bigger than 180 degrees, if you just minus 180 degrees, you're gonna find the, the back bearing really quickly. Um, it's just a technique that I use to check my answers. I would sort of, in an exam, I would usually sketch this out quickly to show my workings. Um, but just to sort of show you, this topic is a topic that people find quite difficult. Regularly on corporate maths, I tweet poll questions and I sort of put this question out and the question says the bearing of A from B is 304 degrees. What is the bearing of B from A? Now what I've done is I've given four choices for people to choose from. Now to find that out let's use the shortcut to find the shortcut because this is um, to find the background because this is above 180 if we minus 180 from it we're going to get our answer really quickly. So 4 take away 0 is 4 borrow two and one so the answer is 124 degrees so this is actually the correct answer here so that, that's just a really quick way to sort of check our answer now what's interesting is whenever i sort of tweet questions like this um I've gone for 56 degrees as sort of the red herring, the one that I want people to go for. The reason I thought that would be a good one was I thought if I make it up to 360, people might choose it. And if I put it down twice, one with the 56 and one with the 0, 5, 5 6, that'll sort of, you know, get people to go for them. And um, as you can see, you know, if you add those two together, you've got 50, 60, 64 people who have gone for those wrong options. Um, so you know, it just goes to show that this is a topic that people find quite difficult, but actually, if you just sort of consider the diagram, you know, the sort of, you know, the two locations, if you find the, you know, the other angle inside, but in between the parallel lines using co-interior and then find, you know, the other, the, the bearing is it can be quite straightforward so as long as you know the co-interior angles as long as you know angles at a point and got a rough idea of what bearings are you should be able to find back bearings quite easily i hope you find that useful and yeah 